What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Today I'm showing you guys Air Jordan 2 Low, Nina Chanel Abney. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, let's you know I'm in the right direction and showing you guys what you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me. If you guys been new to this video, it's coming ahead of time. Follow me on Instagram at Y Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So we have the Air Jordan 2 Low right here for you guys. I did the Air Jordan 2 earlier for you guys, the one that's right behind me. Uh, pretty much the same color scheme on these, except on the inside of the tongue. You know, we get the green instead of the red 23. But um, other than that, the shoe is pretty much identical color scheme wise, even box scheme wise. Um, but I will say that the box on the regular Air Jordan 2 is much bigger than the Air Jordan 2 Low box. Um, and these are the same sizes. So, um, show you guys the top of the box here. We just get the jump man right there with his nails painted and on the other hand It looks like he had a glove on right there um, But it looks like he's shooting over same thing though It looks like he's shooting over two Laker defenders um, and then on the outsides of the box it says her name Same thing on the other side Jump man on the back right here And on the front it has the Air Jordan and on the bottom half of the box has like that confetti um, It kind of has like the Celtic colorway Going around on this box now we don't get a suggested retail on these but the retail on these was 225 now this is a woman exclusive that dropped on the sneakers app today um retail on this was 225 once again but um i did go to size 10.5 which is a size 9 in men's but i feel like women's shoes do run a little bit big so make sure you guys stay throughout the whole video to watch the sizing tip on these now we open up the top of the box here we don't get a stamp or uh yeah we don't get a stamp on the top of the box here but on the inside we get a, a on the inside of the top, we do get like some confetti, and then it has the jump man there in red, the background is black, and then uh, we see her name there in white, right there, okay? So, um, we do get the same thing on the tissue paper as the Air Jordan 2 right here. Um, so we get a jump man, a basketball, and like an X right there. All right, we get some extra tissue paper. And we also get that third tissue paper inside as well. If we take out this shoe, um, in my opinion, let me show you guys the third extra tissue paper before I forget. Um, we also get a sticker on the inside of the box too. Okay. But um, before I forget here, uh, which colorway or which pair do you guys rather have? Um, now, I would say the regular Air Jordan 2 is the best one, but when I had these on with pants, they just looked and felt a little bit more comfortable and just went better with this uh, pants choices that I choose for you guys today. But um, without having them in hand, I would say the regular Air Jordan 2 is better now. They're not the most stylish shoes, meaning like, you know, they don't have a lot of pop to them, but this shoe is meant for like people that wear suits and more so have like a casual type of look to them. So, you know what I mean? Pick your poison. But in my opinion, it's still a good cop. Now, um, let's start off with the shoes, guys. Now, um, now um, I also do have the shirt here in gray. They also had it in white. I'll show you guys a few other pieces that they had um, that came out with the drop today. Now, um, I will say that, you know, these shoes might go down in price. So if you guys wait a little bit longer, you might be able to get them for retail or a little bit under. But, you know, if you guys can't wait, then right now they're going for about 270 to 280. But, um... Let's start off with the bottom of the shoe, guys. So on the bottom of the shoe, we get gray, green, and like that off-white. And it says Nike down there. Also says the sizing down there on the bottom too. All right, now coming on to the outside of the shoe here on the outsole, we get that off-white outsole on the outside of the shoe, going all the way down to the front. Same thing on the inside right there. All right, we get a little bit of that gray creeping up from the bottom as well. Now coming back to the outside of the shoe here, we get like this white leather on the majority of the front panels of the shoe right there. Okay, now these will crease up. As you guys can see, I have some pre-creases on mine already, as you guys can see, if you look really closely. All right, same thing on the inside right here. If you guys look on the inside as well, pre-crease. I haven't even put these on my feet yet, but you know, it is what it is. All right. Okay, so um, coming back to the front of the toe box on these, if you guys look at the toe box, these will crease up once again, very nasty. So make sure you guys put some wearable shoe trees in these if you can. All right, but then we also get some holes going around the front of the toe box as well. And at the mud guard on these, we get that nappy suede on the mud guard right there. All right, and then we get that 
white, off white. You guys look at the laces on these, they come with the white laces, but they also come with the black wax laces. And if you guys look at the tips, they come with the black metal tips and they come with the white tips on the white pair. Okay, now the tongue is in the leather on the bottom of the tongue. All right, but if you look at the top of the tongue, we get like the snake skin slash iguana skin looking white at the top. And then in the middle, we have the Air Jordan logo in green right there. All right, pretty far in my opinion. All right, now coming towards the inside of the, now on the back of the tongue here, you guys turn around to the back of the tongue, we get the black and then on the back it says 23 in black and then the background of that is green. Okay, now, um, actually before I get into the inside of the shoe here, if you guys keep hearing this clinging, we get this on the outside of the shoe. All right, it's kind of like in a printer frame and the same thing that we get on the top of the box here. It's pretty nice, kind of heavy too, if you guys pick it up. And on the back here, it has a Jordan logo and under that it says her name right there. Okay, very nice detail. All right, on the inside of the shoe here, we get some tissue inserts and the inside of the shoe is black, something like a black suede on the sock lining. And then on the actual insole is green with the Jumpman being in black on the left shoe and on the right shoe, it's in black and it says her name on it. Okay. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Where's the ankles here? On the back panels of the shoe, we get that uh, like snake skin slash iguana skin back there. Okay. Back of the shoes here, we get a green pull tab at the top. At the bottom, we get the green leather. I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box right now. Okay guys, now this is what they look like on feet. I feel like these look very well with like oversized pants because it is a low top shoe, but um, Anyway, I am a true size nine, and only get nine and a half in all my shoes. Now, this is a women exclusive, so this is a ten and a half, and you know I am a true size nine, aka the only way to find your the way to find your women's size is to go one point five up from your normal size. So you know that's why this is a ten dot five in women's, a women's exclusive. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box here. My big toe is right here. Okay, that's my big toe. So I do have a little bit of space up there at the top, just a little bit. Even on the inside, I have a lot of space right there. But I'm, I feel like, you know, with women's shoes, they normally do run bigger. And the proof is in the pudding, like always, for you guys right here. So um, I do feel like you can go down half a size. But, you know, if you want to do that or if you have to do that, but, you know, true to size is probably the way to go. But um, I normally like to wear my shoes unlaced. So my foot does come out the back here pretty easily like when i make it but if i stand up for you guys like this and try to walk around it doesn't come out the back you know what i mean so that's a good sign uh it also has you know the scrunchies right here to like keep it you know in place so that's another good sign if you guys are thinking about wearing your shoes unlaced like i do but um other than that uh i like the way these look with certain pants and things like that because it is a low top shoe low top shoes normally do look good normally look good with oversized pants but um the color scheme on these is fire and definitely a cop in my opinion. I mean, it's not, you know, the most stylish, but, you know, for something that's, it's a piece of art. I'll say that. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys these, like some different pants options right now. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love and stay tuned.